Hey guys, and welcome to Binging. If you're new around here, Binging is a show where I try different vegan food items and let you know if they're worth trying or not. I'm Desiree, and in this episode, I'm gonna be trying foods that are made out of chickpeas. Nowadays, there are new food products that are coming out with a more plant-based approach. Foods like chips, pasta, and rice are getting a plant-based makeover because many companies are now incorporating beans and veggies into them. I'm gonna try some food products that have chickpea as their main ingredient and see if it tastes like chickpea or not. I'm introducing a new rating system I'm binging. It's gonna be a star rating and I'll rate each product whether it's one, two, three, four, or five stars. One being the worst, five being the best. Banza makes also chickpea pasta, which I've tried before in the past and really like. And I use it now on a regular basis whenever I make pasta. That's the brand I buy now. So I'm hoping this chickpea rice is just as good as their pasta. Cooking this rice was just as easy as the pasta. It only took five minutes in boiling water to cook. I also seasoned this with some salt and some all-purpose seasoning to give it a little bit of flavor. It's really good. It's very soft. It reminds me a lot of orzo. Just looking at the shape of it and also the texture. And it, to me, it looks more like orzo pasta, just probably made out of chickpeas. This rice probably has more fiber than your ordinary rice. Chickpeas are really versatile. As you can see, they can be made into a rice. I would just season this normally as you would rice. If you wanna put salt and pepper, all-purpose seasoning, however you make rice. Now, I don't know if you can, you know, change the color of this, like to make yellow rice. I'm sure you can. I don't see why it shouldn't. I mean, it's already kind of beige in color to begin with, but if you wanted to make it like truly legit yellow rice, I probably would think you can change the color of this as well. I'm gonna give this Benza chickpea rice four out of five stars because it's really good and it definitely has a lot more fiber than your typical white rice. And it's healthier so you can still get your daily bean intake just in a different form. So this is supposed to be chickpeas that you can snack on. They are roasted. So instead of eating, I guess, peanuts, this is your chickpea alternative. So I know they come in different flavors as well. I guess you could compare this to like corn nuts that they're roasted and salted. So they're whole chickpeas and I could definitely see the salt on them, but mm. it's very dry. I'm really shocked that they're, they're not as hard. I thought they were gonna be a lot harder like corn nuts are, but maybe because this is a sea salt flavor, they don't really have a taste. I don't even really taste a salty taste. Like it's just not really the greatest. Maybe the flavored versions are better. I would give this two stars just because there is no flavor in it. And I didn't give it a one because it's actually not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. These are your typical cheese puffs, but made with chickpeas. So they use vegan cheese. This company also sells a bunch of different flavors to it. So I chose the nacho cheese ones just to see if they taste similar to like cheese doodles or something like that. You can see the cheese coating on it. It's like a light yellow and then like a beige color. But let's see. They're a little harder than your typical cheese puffs. You could taste the nacho, it's just very light. It's a light taste, it's a light flavor. It actually makes your mouth a lot drier, but it's good. It's just, I wish it was a lot more cheese flavors. Like, if this is nacho cheese, I really wanna taste the cheese in this. And it's like really drying out my mouth. Like you would need to drink something with this because it's so dry. I would give this three out of five stars. <music> 
So I tried the chickpeas in a puff form. Now I'm trying it in a chip form. This is from Saffron Road. And looks like there's a mix of a few beans in here, not just chickpeas. Uh, I don't know, is there something orange in here? Maybe that's red lentil. I see some green. So it's made out of chickpea flour, rice flour, green lentil bean, yellow split pea, green split pea, sweet potato mix. So this is just your regular sea salt flavor. I can taste the salt in it, but it tastes more like a cracker to me than an actual chip. But it's good, I mean, very light in flavor. You don't taste any of the beans in it. You taste more of the salt. Actually, now I'm tasting the sweet potato in it too. The more you eat it, the more it may taste like a chip with the salt. I wonder if they have other flavors of this. Probably it would be better flavored as opposed to just the plain sea salt. I mean, it's a good option to try. I give it a three out of five stars. So it's interesting to see how they can make chickpeas into pretty much a variety of different products. My favorite product would have to be the Banza chickpea rice. Have you tried any of these chickpea items? Or what are your favorite ways to eat chickpeas? Or do you even want chickpeas like in other foods like rice and chips? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, go ahead and click on that like button. Also remember to subscribe to my channel for more episodes of binging and for cooking videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Chickpea rice, chickpea puffs, chickpea crisps. What else are they gonna make chickpeas out of? Until we find out, why don't you watch another episode of binging by clicking on the video right here and also hitting the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel because there's gonna be another episode of binging coming up next week and hit the bell to get notified exactly when that video goes up.